you know, when we decided that we were going to do this trip, you know, everybody knows that they have to rally behind it. And first and foremost, it's our parents, man. I mean, our parents are absolutely amazing. And coming out from California is no small feat. You know, it's a $480,000 tour to go from California out here. So it's a major investment in their kids. And without our parents being able to support what we do, none of it's possible. So it all pretty much begins and ends with parents. But it's been an amazing trip. Um, all of the travel people have been great. Uh, the uh, hotel and the buses and all of that have been great. Well, one of the great things is that this program has come and gone, or I shouldn't say come and gone, I should say they've been to Grand Nationals before. Um, three years ago they were finalists and it's, so they know our senior class was a part of that finalist uh, band. So they're fully aware of what's at stake here, that we are attempting to be the best in the nation at it, if not the best in the world at what we're doing here within the marching arts. And it's just phenomenal to be able to see them take on that responsibility and, and go full charge into what it is. But I, I think it means the world to the kids to be able to, and the members, to be able to you know, compete at a national level. That there's always a, the local level you know, and then the state level, but coming to the big show, that's a big deal. <laughs> Well, to tell you a little bit about the Ayala show, it's about, sh the show is entitled Shattered, and it is about a girl who's just like any other girl from Southern California. Oh my God, all right? <laughs> I should say OMG. Um, she starts out just anything, you know, and she's just in front of the mirror, and then she realizes at some point in time that the mirror isn't quite doing what she's doing, or what, sh you know, should be happening. And the, she basically approaches the mirror and she falls through. The mirror becomes more of a portal. She kind of gets stuck in that mirror and she tries to get out. She shatters the mirror, therefore shattering herself. So it's kind of a metaphor for maybe sometimes we get shattered as people. And so immediately our guard multiplies into all the different shards and takes up the entire field. And then the, the remaining part of the show is basically about mending and getting all of those shards put back in the mirror so that she can go back home. But at some point in time, they realize, wait a minute, we kind of like it being all this shattered. We don't want to go back. So we have one of our numbers in the piece uh, in the show is called Tug of War. And it's about we as band members, as the uniform members, want to get the guard back in, but the guard doesn't want to go. So they tug of war for it, but then they come to grips with it and they know that they got to do it. The ballad is kind of like they know they have one last stand of being able to enjoy the time that they're in. And then our closer is getting back in that mirror and getting back home. It's all about the mend and getting back home. So in a lot of shows and a lot of design work that I think a lot of people do is we always like to add a little bit of twist or a little dark element at the end. And we really, we kind of bring that back that even though sh the mirror might be mended, maybe something did come back with her a little bit. And so we kind of hinted that where one of, the, one of the other side of the world kind of came back with her and it's like, ooh. <laughs> so we try to be able just to have one of those little bit of a twist or a little tag at the end that, to get people going, oh, it's not so, you know, butterflies and rainbows.